static website exports are now available in Web Studio with a click of a button, enabling you to host your website virtually anywhere for free. In this video, I'm going to give you a demo showing you how easy it is to upload to several different hosting companies and then talk about the pros and cons of going static versus dynamic, which is the default export nature of Web Studio projects. Now, static websites allow you to host virtually anywhere because it's just a collection of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript files. No JavaScript application, just a static website. So virtually every hosting provider knows how to handle that. Whether you want to go to GitHub Pages, Vercel, Netlify, Cloudflare Pages, all of these you can host for free, and it's super easy to do it. This enables you to build without code using the style panel and just the visual editor that Web Studio provides, yet export and get a very clean export. So there's not going to be jQuery or cookies or just third-party dependencies. It's just going to be what you want, your static website. And optionally, you can export your classes as human readable instead of the optimized algorithm that Web Studio uses. And I'll show you that in the demo. So let's dive in. Here's the project I want to export. To do so, I'm going to go up to publish click export, and here click this build and download static site. We also can change the destination from just a vanilla static site to be platform specific. Vanilla can be uploaded pretty much anywhere, but sometimes there are tweaks that will align it a little bit better for the destination. While this is building and downloading, I want to show you, if you go up to the Web Studio logo and project settings and scroll down, you may want to turn this off. It's actually on by default. And this will output your classes to be human readable. So by default, Web Studio optimizes the classes. They're not human readable, but it saves about 70% in your CSS file size. It'll reduce it by that much. But if you want to modify the project outside of Web Studio, you're probably going to want classes that are human readable. So you may want to disable that. I've got the export right here. I could unzip it if I wanted to, to see the structure. I can see that we have our homepage, we have an assets folder and the different pages we've created. First up, let's go to Netlify. I'm in a dashboard. I haven't created a project yet. I'm gonna show you how easy it is. I am going to drag my zip here. It's going to upload it and deploy it. And I am good to go, open production deploy. And here is my static site hosted on Netlify. My credit card information is not attached. It's absolutely free. And this is how most platforms work. Here's Cloudflare pages. I'm gonna head over to the pages tab and upload assets. So I'm gonna click this and just type in SSG site, whatever I wanna do and drag in my zip. It's going to upload everything. All right, everything's uploaded. I'm gonna deploy it. All right, it's deployed. I'm gonna click the link. And here we go. Now this website's hosted on the Cloudflare CDN for free. Pretty much every platform you go to will have this drag and drop feature or you upload the folder to a Git repository and then link your Git repository and then you can make changes to that and it'll automatically sync with the platform. Now, historically, Web Studio projects are dynamic. That's kind of the default nature of them. You're building actually a React Remix app under the hood, but this option is for static. Now, the two aren't comparable. So let's go over the differences of when it's appropriate to use static versus dynamic. When you export the static website, you have more hosting options because a dynamic application requires the server to be able to know how to handle that application. But static sites are just dead simple. They're simpler to work with and they're cheaper to host, but you don't have dynamic features. So we can see here the list of dynamic features that aren't supported on the static website, including dynamic pages for CMS, redirect statuses, image optimization. And this isn't to talk you out of it. I mean, static sites can be great for simple marketing projects or or if you want to implement these things manually, but they're just things to be cognizant of. So now when you go to your Web Studio projects and go up to publish and export, with a click of a button, you could download a static version of your site, or you could also get the static version in the CLI, and that's also where you get the dynamic version. So dynamic is still going to be the default nature of a Web Studio project, and that's going to expose the most functionality. But for those that want a static site and be able to export it and upload it to virtually any hosting provider, typically for free and typically without any any headache, then static sites are going to be for you. Static exports are available now and included in the free tier. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.